Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and in today's video we're looking at a great resource where you can currently find free resources on a range of topics covering digital art and 3D graphics. So the resource I'm talking about is ArtStation. Most people kind of know it as a portfolio site so it's where everybody from amateurs right through to professionals show off their work often in the hope of finding jobs and it's very well respected so if you show someone your ArtStation portfolio they'll probably be used to the platform and therefore it's a good way to show your work. You can certainly see the quality of art on here is exceptional and you can see that top professionals are using this site. As a general resource, it's really fantastic. You've got podcasts, lots of books. It's kind of a magazine section. There's challenges which you can take part in, often with really good prizes or even a job offer at the end. Blogs which are often a bit hit and miss. Sometimes you get sort of tutorial videos within here, much like a YouTube channel and sometimes it's just people showing off their work. You can find jobs on here, and lots of the big studios will advertise. When it says studios here, that's studios that sell lots of assets and packs and things like that. You can buy prints. There's even a marketplace where you can buy lots of different things like 3D models, brushes, Photoshop actions, and all these sort of things. It's probably one of the best places now to start selling your assets because they offer such high commission rates well above anybody else. We've seen some recent changes on ArtStation because Epic Games have brought them out. And because of that, they're offering higher commission rates and a lot of resources for free. The thing I want to talk about most is the learning part. Now this is free for the rest of this year. Before I talk about the quality of this, I'll just go and show you the account types that you can get. I've got a simple free account, and you can see here that you get unlimited access to ArtStation Learning until the end of 2021. And you can see you get 88% of the revenue when selling things like assets and so forth, which is a really great commission rate at the moment. If you want to go for one of the pro accounts, then you can actually, you can actually customize your portfolio and things like that. But at the moment, I'm happy with the free account. It suits my needs perfectly. So let's go back to the learning resources. You can see some of the ones that I've looked at here. I think I've looked at most of the Blender tutorials. And there's not a huge amount of Blender tutorials on here. If I scroll down a bit, we can choose by software and choose Blender and you can see they've only got a few. That's not really the reason why I'm pointing this out. However, it's worth saying that each of these are a course in themselves. It's kind of in between YouTube and a full course that you might buy on something like Udemy or Wingfox or wherever you might go. The problem you get, as you might have noticed with something like Udemy, is that lots of people can post up there. It's not necessarily professionals that are doing it. It might be hobbyists and they might not have the correct workflow all the time. Then you've got something like Wingfox, which does detailed courses. Their platform's not great, to be honest. But you get more detailed courses, but they are more expensive. Well, the great thing about these is that they're generally from professionals that are in the industry. So they've got good workflows, they've got good experience, and their knowledge is well worth looking at. What I would encourage you to do is actually clear the Blender filter and look at some of the other videos that are available here. They're kind of general videos from professionals about working in the industry techniques and workflows and lots of people are trying to figure out the technical aspects of the program blender or any other program but far more important most of the time is actually the workflow and the way you approach the work that's why i would suggest watching most of these and gathering as much of this detailed knowledge from the professionals as you can lots of these are from things like conferences and so forth some of them will be 2D art, but again, that's really important to understand the approach that 2D artists take because it can inform your 3D work as well. So I really would encourage you to make the most of this resource while it's freely available. It also gives you information about whether it's for intermediate or beginner, so it can suit lots of different levels. And you can see as I scroll through, there's lots of courses and resources on here. And lots of these will break down into four or five, maybe 10 even videos. So there's a great deal of content on here and it's free. So make the most of it while you can. I hope this video helps you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.